Welcome to another video tonight. I'm excited to talk about SAS and getting it all set up. There's a newer version of getting SAS set up according to the SASLang.com website, which is the official website for the SAS language. Um, technically, we'll be doing uh, SCSS version, um, but this is the compiler to be able to do so. The original Node uh, hyphen SAS version is deprecated if you're using Node 15 and newer. So this is the latest way to set up your Node SAS and might just be a good reference point for you if you ever need to remember to come back to this and uh, try to recall how to get that set up. So first off is we're going to install SAS globally. Now that gave me errors because I need to run sudo. So I'm going to run sudo npm install sg sas and that should work out just fine and I have that all set to go. Now I'm going to make a directory for my SCSS and my CSS so I can watch the SCSS folder and it will build it in my CSS folder. So I'm going to make a directory called SCSS and I'm going to make a directory called CSS. And that's the part I needed to get set up there. Now I have these two folders. Now um, really all we need to do, keep this simple, is um, have the um, watcher watching the directories. And that's as simple as calling sass dash dash watch. And we are going to have a look at the SCSS directory and compile to the CSS directory. So just like our directories up here, it'll, whatever happens in here and saves, we'll build out to this one. And we'll run that. And we're ready to roll. So here in my SCSS folder, if I create a style dot SCSS, it compiled. So I'll look at my CSS folder and see if that automatically compiled out. This um, map here it actually creates, also allows Chrome to make a code connection to where in your uh, SCSS your files and your um, lines are so that you can actually use the debugger a little easier with your SCSS. And just like that, we're ready to go. So as I type in here in my CSS, or in my SCSS, excuse me, um, we'll just put a rule in here to watch it. I'm gonna hit save. It's going to compile out to my CSS. I'll look at that and see that it's automatically copying over there when I compile. And of course, this green line is a success message. And then if I just want to exit out of that, I'll hit Control C. And that's how I exit. And that's how you set up your SAS using Node today. Again, keep in mind, this is the newer version of setting that up. And it works, um, especially this is for the newer versions of Node moving forward, but it will work with the older versions, even like you've seen here with Node 12. Um, but you have to use it for Node 15 and newer. And uh, also, if that doesn't work, you're also welcome to use Bro Brew Install SAS, and uh, it's very similar to this setup and similar calls. But um, that's the Node version. Hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to use it as a reference point, all you need. And uh, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.